It's a moment you've been preparing for, I guess, your whole life. That was first practice, and uh, now, I mean, you're QB1. What, what has that been like? Uh, it feels a uh, great experience uh, today. To me, uh, overall experience was a great day today. Uh, offense did pretty well. We uh, can correct a few mistakes that we had, but overall, I feel like a good collective effort, uh, effort as a team. We did great. Hey, KJ, I was just wondering what, what your take is on, on Myron Cunningham out there. How good do you feel about him protecting, I, I, you know, your, your spot out there? And just what, what, what just what, what you think about him as a player? Uh, Myron is a great, awesome player to me. Uh, basically, uh, he shows great leadership on the field and off the field. He uh, brings those young guys along well. Uh, to me, protecting my blind side, I have no worries because, I mean, he perfects the little details and even get extra work. Uh, come in, talk to me about different stuff on what he saw on the protection wise or why we call this protection and what he want to slide to. So I feel like Myron is a great overall player. Hey, one of the questions we heard during the summer was who can take some pressure off Traylon, you know, on the other side? What have you seen from the receiving core? Who might you be able to trust and get the ball to to keep some pressure off Traylon? Uh, 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 like you said today, uh, Davion Warren showed up big time today. Trey Noss also made some uh, good plays today. The tight ends, uh, Kern, Blake Kern made some great plays. Uh, Traylon Smith also made some plays out the backfield, um, running the ball and catching the ball also. So I feel like as a collective unit, as offense, the whole nine yards, I feel like everybody would be good. Parker, could you maybe detail your offseason, like where you got better? and how you did it. And then the second part, it looked like you had a pretty good connection with Warren Thompson today. What What do you like about his game? Uh, far as Warren, Warren is coming along well. Uh, he's building his confidence each and every day. So might want to stay in his ear a lot. Uh, just keep building his confidence. And he new to this whole system and the whole program. So Warren, I feel like he'll come along pretty well once he get a, get his confidence up and be a great uh, asset to the team. And this offseason, the main thing I was just mainly working on was the little small details like film, getting extra hours in film room and uh, in the weight room with Co Walker working out, doing different stuff about shoulder work, mobility, all the, just a little thing that's going to separate me. As far as that, your physical, how'd you do this summer as far as bulking up and the things you needed to do conditioning wise? Uh, conditioning wise, I feel like uh, I still can be in better shape. Uh, I'm trying to cut down on the little weight that I gained over the uh, summer. Uh, but for as just Working out, I feel like I put on a lot of muscle mass, but I just want to at least cut down the weight, uh, just percent, body fat percent. Also, uh, Tyson Morris coming back, just kind of what does he bring to the table and what what is what is how does he progress this summer and this preseason? Well, Tyson Morris is a great player to me. Uh, the way he carries himself, the leadership that he has, not uh, being a senior, uh, the uh, younger guys look up to him. He can help the younger guys out by giving them knowledge or they have questions about a certain play or a certain route. I can go to Timo and tell Timo, like, hey, this receiver right here has a problem. Can you get him for me? And it's done. Like, he'll go handle it, come back, tell me what he got to do. It's going I'm good. Hey, KJ, you do look like you're really big and strong and really <laughs> tough to sack. You mind telling us what your weight is? And you said you'd like to lose a little bit. What would you like, what would you like to get to? I'm at, I'm at 247 right now. I at least want to cut down like 10 pounds, try to get to like probably 235, 230 range, somewhere in there. Okay, Jay, it seems like we talk about all the other wide receivers instead of the guy because we know what Traylon's going to bring. But what, what what is it about Traylon Burks that makes him Traylon Burks? I mean – I mean, obviously he catches the ball and, and makes great plays, but why? What is it about him that makes him so special? Uh, the thing that makes – to me, the thing that makes Traylon just just a great guy, a great person, uh, he always just find a matchup, basically. I mean, Traylon always has a mismatch, no matter what, uh, who's on him. He's still going make to a, make a way to find a uh, – make a play. So, I feel like Traylon just just a great special guy. Uh, and also what he brings to the table, like everybody knows, like Traylon is a – great athlete so by him knowing that he's a great athlete that just make him go even harder when he step on the field and when he step off the field just getting extra work after hours when nobody's looking so i think all it just builds up and it just separates training what your thoughts are of you two freshman running backs your rocket sanders and aj green with this especially being aj's first practice what do you thought about those guys so far well aj did pretty well we um put him in a uh, cut worked him out in a couple different uh positions today uh for his personnel wise and He's coming along pretty great. Uh, 
Rocket didn't really just do much. He uh came off, I think he had surgery or something like that, but he still did also he did great too, uh doing as far as running the ball, hitting the holes, getting open in the uh, flats and catching the ball. He did pretty well, both of them guys. Yeah, Sam, something about this. It seems to me when we hear the coaches out at practice, it's like, hey, great job, you know, and, and I, I wonder if if that's something you guys get, like if they're more uplifting than tearing down, you know, jumping on you in front of everybody. What do you think of that? Uh, I feel like that's uh, great because, I mean, Coach, Coach Pittman always say uh, it's our team, so he'd rather let the leaders and all the guys that's in charge take place rather than the coaches always jumping in or – trying to set something up. We can just uh, let the leaders take place and the players on the team take place. And as far as the uplifting part, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a great thing because it just helps instill confidence within the whole team and give everybody just that good praise and let them know that they're doing something good and just keep working off of that. No, every now and then he might might pull me to the side. He's just not going to just yell out. He just maybe pull me to the side and be like, hey, what you thought on this? Okay, then I feel like you should have did this this way or that way, and we just go from there. Hey, dude, what did you see from Davion Warren, you know, maybe throughout the summer, working to get back to where he was last year? Like, like what jumped out to you about his work? Uh, his his uh, work, it, it work it, uh, basically, uh, he just worked extremely hard. He uh, pushed each and every day, pushed the guys around him each and every day to just bring a winning culture and also just helping him out for the other guys, pushing him to make him better and help him come back successful. Hey, Jay, what did you see from Lucas Coley and Landon Rogers today? Uh, Lucas Coley made big time throws today. Uh, he really stepped up and he has matured over since he's been here. And Landon, he's uh, coming along. He uh, made some also some big time throws today and looked really good in certain areas. Hey, Jay, every quarterback has their preferences of the way they like to do things in offense. What do you think is different from you versus what we saw for, from Felipe and like, what are we going to see differently in terms of how the offense is called? Just like more RPO or what are, what are you expecting? I guess? Uh, for sure, it'd be a lot of more RPO based on I can be able to move and extend play with my legs, not just only my arms. So as far as the difference between me and Felipe, Felipe was a great player. He, but the thing that separates us is I can be able to run and extend my leg, extend plays rather than just sitting back in the pocket and just sitting in the pocket. No problem. Thank you all.